we're so advanced now that we use emojis, which is a way of talking without words, just using pictures. <laughs> Ain't that like hieroglyphics <laughs> on the pyramids, the pictures? I didn't say it too much. Okay, all right. Uh, where's all the married men in the building? Make some noise. Married men in the building. Okay, I'm gonna give you some Illuminati information about your relationship. But don't look at her when I say this shit. No matter what. So if you need to look at her now, look at her now. Because in a second, don't look at her. Okay, here it goes. They just... They did this study where they tested the brain activity in women. And they found out that when a woman is asleep, that bitch is still 90% awake. <laughs> All the married men just felt a shiver in their spine. I knew this bitch was up. I mean, she sleep. Legally, she sleep. But let a bitch text me. She ain't sleep sleep. How you hear a text, bitch? That's impossible. I done said too much. Okay, I'm a... Okay. Some of the science shit, they don't even tell you. Like, they ain't told nobody yet. But they haven't found out that heaven is real yet. But they just found out that there are no dead particles in the whole universe. The, right, that's what I said, the fuck? There are no dead particles in the universe. So that means nothing really dies. I ain't gonna say no more, I done said too much. Okay, look, they know it's no Big Bang. They done went far enough now that when they got to the part where it's supposed to be a little bit of activity and the bang, they got there and found out it's more complicated and complex than our shit in this universe. <sighs> I didn't say it too much. Okay. Boneless chicken meat <laughs> is important because he got to be funny to all the demographics. This motherfucking Phoenix, there's probably 30 demographics in one room. And so this is somebody who got to be funny to all the demographics. A person who has been hilarious every single time that you saw him, whether it was in movies, or whether it was television, whether it was stand-up, like literally every time you saw this person, they were hilarious, without fail. To everybody, I'm giving you some time. Thank you, Pitbull, I appreciate you for coming. I bring him out like a motherfucker, that's what I do. He on his comedic rock star and shit, I'm gonna give you a shout out, sir, that's what it do, that's the walkthrough. If anybody else wants to walk, that's how you walk out. That's how you do a walk through. <laughs> Show this jacket and shit. I fucked with that. Liam Phoenix, baby. Okay. Did I fuck it up? Can I restart? Sorry, y'all. This is live. I got high back there and got lost, too. Okay. All the black curtains back there looking like I went out there and y'all was not there. I was like... <laughs> Just give me a second, it's still spinning. Okay, I remember exactly where I was. I was telling you, this is truly a motherfucking treat. Like, to, to, to be this person, you would have to have on your credits, you'd have to have like, In Living Color, and The Proud Family, and Martin Show, and like, everything is iconic. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please make some noise for the one and only, eighth wonder of the comedy world, Tommy Day.
white boys are like, bring your black ass back here. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. How y'all doing, man? Y'all good? I made it back. I see y'all on first 48. Black people with gold teeth. I'm feeling good, y'all. It's been a long two years. Shit, a lot of shit we dealing with. Did you miss me? Who can take the children? Bounce them on the... All right, all right, all right. It's been a great... Where's they, baby? Oh, motherfucker, I ain't no DJ. I thought she had something to say. Oh, bitch. Yeah, you fucking look first. Go ahead, bitch. I want to see what's happening. It's been a crazy damn two years. White people rush the Capitol. Shame on you. Let me say it one more time. White people rush the Capitol. One more time. White people rush the Capitol. That was the biggest day in black history, wasn't it? Every black person at home watching TV was like, look at these niggas here. Got a nerd to call me a nigga, they go, yo nigga. No orange is the new black, no white is the new nigga. Even white people go, look at these niggas. These ain't no real niggas, they know they get killed. Real niggas ain't gonna do no shit like that. We gotta, re we gotta reevaluate black and white, man. All right, fuck all that. It's some shit that we can, that other people can do, we can't do, they can do, we can't do. A white boy can do some shit we can't do. White boy can hear a gunshot and still walk in a straight line. <laughs> Fuck that gunshot, I'm going to Home Depot. <laughs> you can't even tell he's scared unless you look at his feet. Watch. <laughs> I'll show you that one more time. Sometimes you get alligator hands. That sounds like a monster and he's still gone. <laughs> Hell with that shit. <laughs> Black people are different. We hear a gunshot, we stop where the gunshot occurs. Because we smart. You know we don't know which way to run until we hear the second shot. Gunshot stop a black person on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> You know, old black people can't run fast, but they can tippy toe fast. Old black person use a gunshot like a GPS. That was sweet potato game. White boy, a white boy can steal better than black people can steal his ass off. Now, I ain't talking about land, we know that. I'm talking about uh, Target. You're not catching a white boy stealing. You know why? Because you know how to steal with a fucking firm head. How the fuck you gonna think he's stealing when his head is firm? He don't even look like he's thinking about stealing because his head is just perfect. As soon as he walked into Target, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> fucking hate you. You alright? I said I'm alright, black motherfucker. I'm fine. This motherfucker got a rib eye in his drawers. Blood trickling between his ass. He looking at clothes with his stiffy. Yeah. Oh, white boy looking at clothes. Yeah. Black people caught, you know why? Because they got wiggle head. <laughs> Tell we're gonna steal walking into the target. Because our neck ain't strong enough to sustain the fact that we fit in the steel. You can see our head telling on us, I'm fitting the fucking steel. So we walk in the target. <laughs>
I can tell a black motherfucker steal from a plane, him. He concentrated on stealing so much we can't even talk right. Can I help you, man? Yeah, all that, all that, all that. All that. All that my ass. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> fuck y'all laughing at black people. We gotta stop singing the national anthem because we sing too much. White people are like, can you stop it, please? I like the white guy come out and sing the anthem. You can hear every damn word, every syllable. All say, can you see by the dawn's curly light what so proudly we hail? Brother, get a hold of him and he will make an album. A fucking wrestling tournament. He come out, yo, what's up? This is a little something I call an anthem. My real name is Antoine. Oh, oh, the na na, oh, the na 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 na. Woo 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 woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second day of school. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking you, my God. Who are you? Give me my fucking hair. Who is he, my God? That girl, man, you ain't got to know me for me to fuck your ass, bitch. I don't fucking know her. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you see the, a white girl get hit so hard, she just says, wow. Wow. Like, no, ow, bitch. Ow. Y'all laughing at black girls. At least with a, with a, you hit a white girl, she can still talk clearly. The harder you hit a white girl, the clearer she talks. Really? <laughs> again? Yeah, again. God damn. Why white girl gotta know who hit her? She get hit and look at me. Who is she? I'm like, bitch, run. <laughs> I don't know her. Her name Kippyan. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck y'all laughing at. White people got a different relationship with dogs than black people too. White people are the only people on earth that can see a dog by his fucking self and walk towards him. Dog looking right at him. Bring your white ass. Bite your fucking white asshole out. They're talking to him like you know English. Who are you? It's a fucking dog. We need a white woman president too. Now, black people, don't get mad at me. You know, I don't care where you are, if it's a white woman, there's gonna be justice in this motherfucker. White women speak up for everybody. You've been in the grocery store, 4th of July, lying around the corner, no cashiers, no managers, white women to the rescue. Oh, black people. Because we don't know how to say the word manager out loud. 
We can be a laugh for three hours. You can't, you can't understand what we're saying. We're mad at it. You think that man quoted him over merch? The white woman take charge, don't she? I got this shit. <laughs> fucking bullshit thrills. Really fucking high five this shit. <laughs> Wait, we're gonna make an announcement for everybody in the fucking store. She's scared of shit. Hello? <laughs> what in the fuck happened? So we gotta do to get a goddamn cashier out here, suck a cop? <laughs> That's possible. My man, fuck, uh, one down. These two guys, fuck, uh, fuck, uh, like a rattlesnake in this game. You ever been to IHOP 11 30 in the afternoon on Sunday trying to get a table within an hour? Without a white woman there, you're gonna sit your black ass down. <laughs> The black people are white women best. Brown ring. <laughs> they start doing personal interviews with black people, start walking right up on them. How long have you been here? Yeah. For a fucking hour of bullshit. <laughs> Hello, goddammit, pancakes, please. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you gotta you get hey, you gotta be a manager or a supervisor or a white woman won't talk to you. <laughs> you ever see an employee try to take on a white woman, I'll take your receipt, will ya? I don't know a white woman really mad because her mouth stopped opening. Get the goddamn out of here. Right? Fucking man. You better get, get the goddamn guy out of your mouth. And they ain't scared of black men. They look right at you. What's that fucking shirt you got on, man? Is that supposed to be a polo shirt? Because it's not. Every polo shirt I've seen, the horse is like that lady. Sir, that's a whole horse. <laughs> Then the manager come out there mad as shit. Who's one thing to don't do me? <laughs> Talk about Phoenix, ain't it? <laughs> These Indians are managers for one reason. They're the only ones that can neutralize white women's bullshit. She can't even make a man. What's this bullshit on my receipts, you say? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker cool as shit. We'll find out together. <laughs> He started psychoanalyzing her to 7-Eleven. Why you don't want people to like you? You make everybody not like you. Because you're a fucking bitch. I'm like, is she? I don't talk to black people. Police come with me and at you. No. Police come and at you no more. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an Indian video. You ever seen an Indian video? Trump don't come back, I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> Shit. Don't tell Mexicans to go back to Mexico. This is Mexico. <laughs> Shit, we lose Mexicans, we gonna lose Spanish TV. <laughs> and that's the best shit on TV. TV's everywhere. <laughs> they ain't got news in the morning, they dance first. <laughs> Wake up. Motherfuckers, we can't sleep. Black people know what it's like to live next to y'all. <laughs> it's all you hear through the wall from Friday to fucking Monday. <laughs> I'm like, what is Bozo? There's a clown next door? <laughs> Those on it. <laughs> got a million shows. So the gigante. That's my favorite fucking show. They got a little black midget. He's not even a midget. He's like a nigglet. Okay. They breaking it down to him. El cuando cumple el ciclo de dos vueltas de cero de dos. El tuyo sí de cuando el ciclo de dos años cuatro cinco cumple el ciclo de negrito. El tuyo sí de cuando el ciclo de dos siete cuando te dieron mucho de dos cuatro siete cuatro. Y comida de México. You gotta listen close. 
dari sini pun ada apa. Tired of people talking about Mexico like it's on another fucking planet. It's a country with a culture. Shit, you ever seen mariachi? Mariachi, baby. I ain't talking about the breakfast buffet mariachi <laughs> where the motherfuckers got on a Nike fucking sweatsuit. <laughs> I'm talking about mariachi mariachi. You got the Commodore's night shift jacket on. You got the commemorative New Orleans Saints football pants. <laughs> and the gold stripe on that bitch. You got the bullet belt. You got the giant sombrero. The one with the little trick cereal around it. <laughs> she will make you cry. Cry, Mexican cry. <laughs> I ain't said shit yet. Hablame de ti. Cuéntame. De tu vida. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got you crying. So let's get hit. In this story. Repente gira. Sé que tú no puedes. Watch the Spanish news. Shit. That's what's messing this country up. Fuck the news. We all go to work on a Monday morning together. Fox got you going this way. CNBC got you going that way. Watch Primo Impacto. There's only a little bit of English, so they break that shit down. Pero cuando un versículo de 14, 20, 14, un versículo de 2, que se produce de muchos problemas de R. Kelly, y su versículo de 14, 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 Give it up for Tommy Davis and ladies and gentlemen. Don't do that. If you like that song, you got good pussy. If you like that song, that's the that's a good pussy song. Don't do it no more. Uh, he said one more time. So. That's what that's what pussies with three dollar panties on. I think it's three for six. You got them panties on you look. Let's go. I want some of that two dollar pussy. Good to get some of that.